Hello everyone. So in this part of this course, I'll be walking you guys through on how to set up the front end of this whole website. So basically the front end of this website is made solemnly on React and with some Tailwind CSS uh, styling uh, frameworks that has been utilized in this particular front end part of the blog website. So basically I have already made a simple yet reusable template here which you can also use it. Uh, download it from your site or you have to do just go to this uh, github link which I have which I'll be sharing in the uh, either the, the link of this particular github repository either in the description or in the resources uh, page resources uh, article so don't worry I'll be just you can actually access it inside of this resources so basically once you have already uh, gone to this particular repository here all you do need to, I mean, if you're familiar with cloning this repository, you'll be able to uh, go on. But if you're new to cloning repositories, all you have to do is just be very easy for, from your site here. All you have to do is just go to click on this button code and just click on this like copy this HTTPS uh, website link. So once you have copied this, just by hitting this copied uh, button here. What you need to do is just go to your local disk here, for example, like this, and just open a terminal. For example, in this case, I'm opening open in terminal. So I've just opened uh, the terminal right here. So, oh. and all I need to do is just need to type git clone and just paste the link of the repository which we have just copied from the uh, github.com. Uh, and then just hit enter. So currently, what is currently it is doing? It's actually cloning into block front end React into your local hard disk. So basically, what does it ha happening here is actually cloning all the all the files, all the resources that are supposed to be uh, that that you'll be using in your project for, especially for front end, is now being downloaded. And just we just need to wait until the whole project folder has been downloaded and and there you go now currently you have already have your uh, folder that's already been cloned into your local disk so all you have to do just need to go to your desktop and let's look for where's the uh, the let me just refresh the page and there you go right now you have your the, the project folder right here just need to open and only you need to open this particular folder with vs code here like this so in this case i have already opened it and just need to expand the folder here so the first thing we need to do once we need to do is actually we, we have all the files here but before even running this folder we need to make sure we need to install all the dependencies that has been already pre-installed that's it's not that's actually pre-installed but we still need to install all of these dependencies because it's not down, it's either installed in your local disk or it can't be running in any sort of a circum uh, circumstances so what you need to do just need to go to click on terminal right here uh, let me just zoom this particular uh, okay so just need to go to terminal and new terminal and what you need to do here in your root folder okay currently it is indeed in root folder like this all you need to do just need to type npm install so what happens here is basically it will be installing all the dependencies that has been already included in this in this project folder to be installed for our project purpose so that's the whole idea so let's wait until the whole uh, project folder has been I mean the dependencies has been installed into your local folder 